to MBA and another lesson in psychology. So you already know that psychologists like to do experiments so they can test out their theories about human behaviour. And you probably know about independent variables and dependent variables. But did you know that there are a few other variables you need to know about before you conduct an experiment? Today we're going to look at situational variables, participant variables, extraneous variables and confounding variables. Now, I predict that getting a good night's sleep will help students perform better in a maths test. But before I can share my theory with the world, I'd better test it scientifically. So I do an experiment. Half of my participants get nine hours sleep and the other half get four hours sleep. And the next day, they all do a maths test. The results of the test, the dependent variable, should tell me if the amount of sleep they had, the independent variable, affected performance. Now, I'm feeling pretty pleased with myself because my experiment is going so well. But there are some things I need to think about. I need to think about situational variables. Are my participants in a suitable environment? If my participants are taking their maths test in a really noisy room, this might affect the way that they perform. If I put them in a freezing cold room, this might also have an impact on their scores. You might want to jot these terms down. First, a situational variable. Something present in the environment of the study that might affect the results. So I need to make sure that my participants in both conditions of the experiment take their maths tests in a quiet, well-lit, comfortable environment. Now you might be thinking, but what about the participants themselves? And you'd be absolutely right we need to think about participant variables. What if one of the participants is a world-class mathematician? Or another just got some really bad news? Or maybe one of the participants forgot to bring their glasses and can barely see the test? Things like this would affect the results of the experiment. The participant variable, something specific to the participants in a study like mood, ability, personality, all are things that might affect the results. So I would need to make sure that I choose participants that are all of similar maths ability, for example, so that the only thing that is different about the two conditions is the amount of sleep that they have had the night before. So now you know what situational variables and participant variables are. These are both types of extraneous variables. An extraneous variable is something that might mess up the results of my investigation. A variable that isn't controlled, it might interfere with the IV or DV and affect the results of the study. So, in my sleep experiment, it's important that I give all my participants the same maths test, the same amount of time to complete it, the same conditions to take the test in. And I should also make sure that the participants are all of a similar age and ability in maths. If I make some of my participants take the maths test in the dark, it will certainly affect the results. A good researcher will think about possible extraneous variables before they start to conduct their study. If they don't, the extraneous variables could become confounding variables. If I don't control my extraneous variables like noise, warmth, maths ability, things will become confounding variables and mess up my results. Then when I think that my participants did badly in their maths test because they only had four hours of sleep, it might be that they did badly because they were so cold that they couldn't concentrate. So before conducting a study, psychologists need to think about extraneous variables like situational variables and participant variables, so that they don't turn into confounding variables. As well as making you a better experimenter, knowing these terms and what they mean will help you in both paper one and paper two of your GCSE psychology. I hope this has been a helpful introduction to various variables. I'm Kate with MBA, thanks for watching.